Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Chosen people have been described as sheep, you understand? As lambs. Though, if you know anything about animals, those are creatures who, who are quite harmless, man. Those are creatures that are so harmless that they require a shepherd. They require leadership. We are built to follow, you understand? But here's the thing. We've been taught to follow a very wicked leader, man. And that's the oppressor. You got that, brother? Go ahead, let's read that. This is the book of Hosea. Chapter 4, verse 6. Go ahead. My people, who? My people, who? My people. This is talking about the children of Israel, man. Right. See, one thing our leaders failed to teach us about this Bible is a very simple concept. It's a very fluid, it's a very consistent concept within the Bible, and that's that the Most High has a people, man. Our leaders have taught us that, 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 that God loves everybody. You understand that God created everything and that it's God right. loves everybody so that, that, so that there is no division, there is no separation. And that goes against the Bible, man. That goes against the wisdom of the Most High, man. Even the Bible says that don't the potter uh, have power over the clay? Can't the potter make a vessel that's unto honor and a, pot, and a vessel unto dishonor? Well, can't God make people that he loves and people that he doesn't love? Well, that's, what the, that's exactly what the Most High did. The Most High created the children of Israel to love them, you understand? Our responsibility to the Most High was to honor Him and to obey Him. But we've been taught that God loves everybody no matter what you do. And because of that, we've fallen for a very wicked trick from a very wicked enemy, man. And that's why... Read that again. My people are destroyed. Are what? Are destroyed. Are thriving. Are destroyed. Living our best life. Destroyed. Man, the Lord's chosen people are destroyed. Why? For lack of knowledge. For what? Lack of knowledge. For what? For lack of knowledge. I don't know how the Lord's chosen people destroyed for lack of knowledge in what's considered the technology and information age, man. Everybody has Siri, Alexa, Google, Bixby, right on your phone. You got the internet. You don't even need Wi-Fi. You don't need an ethernet cable. Huh? The government's giving away cell phones and smartphones. We in the information age, but we're destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. And here's the thing. You know what that knowledge is? The knowledge is the wisdom of the Most High, man. That's right. The knowledge is that, that, that the Lord's chosen, who the Lord's chosen people are. The knowledge is that the Lord's chosen people are supposed to obey Him, man, or suffer consequences, man. And as long as we don't wake up to this reality, we will continue to be destroyed, man. We will continue to suffer and die and, and live in the disarray and the shambles and, and, and the destitute poverty and the destruction, man, that, that we experience day to day, man. We experience so much d destruction and hell that the ghettos that are destroyed that we live in, we don't even realize they're destroyed, man. That dysfunctional household that we're raised in, that br those broken families, our fathers not being allowed to be a part of our lives, our fathers doing bids, you understand? Our brothers and our uncles, you know what I'm saying? Constantly it, it, uh, uh, experiencing what they call recidivism, huh? And, and, and guess who's next? You are a black man. You are a Hispanic man. You are a Native American man. We, we, we live what they call them, generational curses, huh? Where, where, where whatever happens to, to your predecessors is just gonna happen to you, gonna happen to you. These generational curses aren't the way it's supposed to be, man. But we remain destroyed. We remain in this normalized destruction because we won't turn back to the Most High. Right. And why won't we turn back to the Most High? Because we don't have adequate leadership to teach us that that's, that's what's wrong, man. That's the foundation of what's wrong with our community, man. We right. don't serve the God of the Bible. We don't yield to His wisdom, man. Right. Instead, we yield to the wisdom of the people that hate us and want to destroy us. 
We yield to the wisdom of a wicked society that doesn't know what a man is or what a woman is, that doesn't know who should lay with who, that doesn't know if, if, if legalizing marijuana recreationally is a destructive thing to do to people, man. How the hell do we live in a society that normalizes drug addiction, man? This is why we are destroyed. The people that make these uh, this legislation, these politicians, we look to them for their leadership and their guidance. We let them tell us what a man is and what a woman is. Who, who, should, who can marry who? We let them tell us, you know what I'm saying, how we should respond to different natural disasters and things instead of yielding to the Most High. Let me get uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 56, uh, verse 10. We got to wake up, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The leadership that we are under, man, currently, with, between these politicians and, and, and this damn uh, Christian church, we got to wake up, man. These, their leadership has completely failed us, man. I'll tell you what, if you have children and your children were attending a failing school and your school and that school just continued to fail, the government would let you uh, 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 take your child and give you what's called school choice. They would let you take your child out of that school and go put them in some charter school that has a better resume, that has you know better outcomes for the pupils and the students that they educate. And, and most of our parents will do that. If given the option to take your child out of PS 113, you understand, that, that, that's failing and failing and failing, and you could go to a school that's banging out uh, uh, scholars and educated, you know, uh, uh, college graduates, you understand? You would send your child to that school, wouldn't you? Well, why won't we follow that same mindset when it comes to the Christian church, man? Why won't we follow that mindset when we look at the failed the, the failed product of the Christian church, man. The Bible says that you should, you, you're supposed to judge a tree by its fruit, man. What has the, what has the Christian church produced uh, 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 that, that, that's worth anything, man? Right. Besides a bunch of selfish people, man. Right. A bunch of people who are extremely confused about their sexuality and their identities, man. Right. People who don't even know who the God of the Bible is. But they sing the songs, though. Huh? We'll sing the songs and we'll do the dances, not knowing what the hell we're doing, man. The Bible says we worship, we know not what, man. We got to wake up. You got that, warrior? Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 10. Go ahead. His watchmen are blind. They're what? Blind. They're what? His watchmen are blind. Listen, our watchmen are blind, man. The people that are set in charge, that, 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 that we look up to today, that we think are looking out for us, the people that are that, that are uh, making all the legislation, making all the choices for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American communities, man. The Bible says that they are blind, man. We we are witnessing their blindness, man. A watchman's job is to look out for things. It's to identify things. It's to have what's called the powers of observation, man. Right. And not just to possess the powers of observation but then to have the wisdom and the direction to know how to respond to the things that they observe. Well, here's the issue. If, you, if, if our watchmen are blind, then what in the hell can they even respond to if they don't even see the things that need to be responded to, man? Our watchmen being blind is a very critical problem, man. Our watchmen being blind is a very dangerous situation to be in when we look for their leadership, man. And we demonstrate our pursuit of that leadership every, what, two years? We vote for a new, what, some type of governor, some type of senator, some type of uh, local uh, uh, government agency, huh? Some type of councilman. And then every four years, what do we do? That's when we vote for the governors and the presidents. You understand? Looking for people who are going to make decisions that we think are on our best behalf, man. Decisions that we think are going to be so full of wisdom. Here's the issue. Don't you understand that they don't possess the wisdom that's in the Bible? Don't you understand that your politicians, your Democrats, your Republicans don't possess the wisdom that's in the Bible from the Most High? Right. right. And neither does your pastor. Right. Your pastor discards probably 85% of this book, man. Right. 85% of the wisdom. He's sitting here managing you and guiding you with 15% of the wisdom of this Bible, man. That's inadequate. That's why his product is, is constantly tainted, man. That's why the Christian church is responsible for this homosexuality boom, man. 
the, the Christian church is in large part responsible for the mental health problems that come from children who get abused and don't right. get that justice, man. Right. That don't get that justice. They don't get that, 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 uh, that relief. So they learn to cope with that pain, man. They learn to cope with that pain, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, unsuccessfully. You understand? And that's, that, you ask any, uh, a, a large majority of the LGBTQ community, if you ask them if they were abused as children, if they'll be honest, they'll tell you, yeah. When I was, you know, eight years old, when I was seven years old, when I was six years old, and, and, and you wanna know, a good majority of that took place sitting up inside that Christian church, man. I don't gotta break down, have you heard about the, the damn, it's a story every day about some pastor that, that, that's been locked up for touching some child. Some leader in some church that's been put in jail that because they've been found to have, have put their hands on, 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 on some child, man. And these are just the cases that we hear about. These ain't even, you think that's a good estimation of the real critical condition of that type of abuse going on in the church? Only what makes headlines? Come on, man. That Christian church is banging out bad fruit, man, and this is why. Because those watchmen are blind, man. Keep reading. They are all ignorant. They are what? They are all ignorant. They are what? They are all ignorant. Read that scripture again from the top. Oh, God. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. His watchmen are blind, man. That's why every time, every time a commercial come on, every time they run a batch of commercials, you're gonna see uh, some advertisement for some lawyer, man. You, you scroll on Facebook, they're gonna say, man, have you been, did you ever do uh, some type of stint at some boy's home? Right. And, and, and were you abused in there? There's a there be, there's class action lawsuits against the, the uh, damn Catholic church, man. Against the, the, the penal system, man. You understand? Where, where children are being abused, man. Keep reading. They are all ignorant. They are what? They are all ignorant. Ignorant means you, you lack some knowledge, man. You understand? It's like they don't even know how to look for, for what the Lord wants them to look for, man. Right. They, 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 they don't even possess the damn uh, IQ or the intelligence to, to break down what it is they're supposed to be looking out for, man. So even if they have eyes, they can't see it because they don't understand it. Keep reading. They are all dumb dogs. They are what? All dumb dogs. They are what? All dumb dogs. When it says that they are dumb dogs, this ain't talking about intellect. This is talking about uh, uh, like being mute. You understand mutism, huh? The Christian church, there are things that the Christian church should say, but they refuse to. Right. They keep their mouth shut on a lot of these social issues. You know why? Because they don't wanna, they don't wanna rock the boat. They don't wanna step on toes, man. They don't wanna lose half of their congregation. You understand? By siding with some side of this or some side of that. When the Lord's watchmen ain't supposed to weigh whether or not they're supposed to say something about something. The Bible says cry aloud and spare not, man. The Bible says lift up thy voice like a trumpet, man. When we stand in for what the Most High says, we give a damn whose toes it steps on, man. And that's the way we've been trained in the ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna, man. We've been trained to be real men of the Lord, man, that don't care about your feelings, man. We care about you living a destructive lifestyle behind blind leadership that has done nothing but destroy families, man. We trying to fix families, man. We trying to keep families together. We trying to build brothers up, man. The Christian church sit here got brothers banging tambourines and, and singing damn, t singing soprano in the church, man. Now, trying to effeminize the black man. We can't deal with that, man. That is doing nothing but leading further in our destruction, man. We got to wake up out of this fog, man. We got we got to listen to the to, to the voice of the Most High, man. And that's what we do out here. We bring out what the Most High says. And we warn our people about this nonsense. Right. We need new leadership, man, because our current leadership is blind. Keep reading. Right. They cannot bark. They can what? They cannot bark. They can't bark, man. A lot of these pastors are in the pocket of these politicians, man. Right. That Democrat that they brought into their damn church to say, hey, vote for me. Oh yeah, he's in the pocket. He can't dare speak out against something, a, a, a democratic, you know what I mean, something that that Democrat says or does, man. Huh? He can't speak out against their wickedness, man. He can't speak out when, 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 when they get caught in all kinds of scandals, man. 
The pastor can't, he can't even go back and speak out about it. Why? Because he took that money, man. He took that money from that politician. That politician owns him. You know what he better do? He better shut his mouth. He better not bark. He better not sound an alarm. Keep reading. God. Sleeping. Lying down. You can't do what? Sleeping. Lying down. Yeah, you pat. Our watchmen are lazy. You understand that? Extremely lazy. They don't want to put in the work, man. They don't want to put in the work that Christ and the disciples put in. They don't want to put in the work that the Most High wants us to put. That they rather do. That they rather stick to Ponzi schemes and hustles, man. You understand? They rather just do what the, the get rich quick schemes. That's why. What is it they got now in the church? They got this damn uh uh uh. You know, make make, make this money doctrine. What they call it? <laughs> what they call it that uh. Damn, I forget the term for it, but it basically, if, if, if you want to be rich, just, just give me a little bit of money, and then God's going to make you ten times richer than whatever you gave to me, man. You understand? This is wickedness, man. This is not fixing the Lord's chosen people. The Most High ain't a genie. The Most High ain't a slot machine. You understand? The Most High ain't a blackjack table or a damn roulette wheel, man. The Most High has laid it out very simple and plain, man. We are to obey Him, follow His orders, Follow his commandments, keep his laws, and, and then he'll, he'll take care of us, man. That's what it is, man. It don't require some type of gamble. It don't require some type of uh, uh, monetary investment. That's not how you get salvation. That's not how the Most High will, will, will turn against your enemies, man. The Bible says that when a man's ways please the Lord, he'll make even his enemies be at peace with him, man. He said that when we obey him, he'll be an adversary to our adversaries, man. He'll fight our battles. You understand? This is what we got to turn back to. But here's the thing. That's a hard sell for the Christian church. The Christian church preys on our desire to just be pacified and, 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 and what, what, uh, cleansed of a guilty conscience by telling us that whatever we do that's wrong, it's okay. God ain't sweating that. The God of the whole universe ain't worried about how much crack you smoke. The God of this universe ain't worried about who you lay in the bed with. The God of this universe ain't worried about who you show your loyalty and your love to. The God of this Bible ain't worried about other gods that you decide to worship. Listen, this is, these are lies, man. These are lies that help lead to our destruction, man. The God of this Bible definitely cares about our obedience, man. Keep reading, boy. Loving to slumber. Yay. They are greedy dogs. They are what? Greedy dogs. They are what? Greedy dogs. Our leaders are greedy, man. You tell, are, are politicians greedy? Is it just me or are politicians uh, that damn for sure after that dollar? Huh? I'm the only one that sees that. What about these pastors, man? Huh? What about these collection plates, man, that they send around the church? Your pastor's so greedy, they'll send the plate around the church. He'll look at the trustee, the trustee will shake his head no. The pastor said, no, nah, that ain't enough, man. Y'all get back up, come back through one more time, man. You know why? Because the Bible prophesied that our watchmen would be greedy, man. That Christian church is as greedy as it gets, siphoning all of the economic power out of the black community, man, and giving the black community nothing. Giving the community nothing but more hurt people, more hurt children, more broken families, more, more effeminate fathers, more, more weak men. More masculine women. Got them rude ushers in the church, man, with all kinds of power. When the Bible says that ain't no woman supposed to usurp no authority over no man. The Christian church disrupts the order and the balance that the Most High established in all his great wisdom, man. And the ISUPK under command of General Yohanna, we're turning back to that order, man. That's right. We're turning back to the structure. That's right. You understand? The Bible says that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times, man. That's right. We need stability now more than ever, man. Right. In a wicked society that don't know what the hell a man or a woman is. Don't know whether a man can compete against a woman in the sport. Don't know what sports back well, There's all kinds of confusion, man. Don't know whether people should go to jail for drugs or they should go to hospital for drugs. Don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just all kinds of confusion, man. Don't know what type of order is supposed to be in the household. Is the man, well, they used to say the man wears the pants, but they also say that happy wife, happy life. You understand? These are, these are confusing doctrines, man. How can we get it right? How can we get it right with a goalpost that constantly moves, man? Following behind leadership, you know, 
If the goalpost in society constantly moves, so you know what our watchmen do? They constantly move. Right. You understand? Right. There was a time where, you know, marriage was between a man and a woman according to the government. Everybody understand that? This was fairly new legislation under Barack Obama. You couldn't get that marriage certificate, a man and a woman. But the people voted. They want a man to be able to marry a man, a woman to be able to marry a woman. So what does your pastor do? Your pastor says, well, hell, if it's okay with, 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 with Congress, it's okay with me. Huh? What the Pope turn around and do? Oh, it's okay, man. I will preside over a same-sex marriage. When these things are against the God of the Bible, man, they will change with time. They are reeds shaking in the wind, man. When the God of this Bible says he changes not, man. What, what a man is supposed to do with a woman is what a man is supposed to do with a woman. You understand? That order and that hierarchy and that pecking order is important, despite what anybody's going to tell you, man. Right. They, 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 could try to, they could try to dress it up and try to disguise it and try to use propaganda to make it seem like it's a glorious thing for a man, you know what I'm saying, to be, to, to be all weak and subservient up under some woman. But the reality of that, that is dangerous, man. It is dangerous. A, 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 a woman cannot protect the family the way that a man is supposed to protect the family. Right. An intruder break up in that house, man. Listen, it is going to be Caitlyn Jenner that goes to the door. I don't give a damn how many uh, 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 hormone blockers she's taking. You understand? He's going to run to the door. What are you going to count on that woman to do it? Nah, there, there's a natural way that we things are supposed to be, man. It's a natural wisdom in the Bible, man. Right. And we're raising up children in this confusion, man. Our, children's, our children got to grow up and, and watch Disney try to confuse them about this, the, the appropriateness of all types of uh, uh, lifestyles, man. Our children can't watch it. You can't watch the damn Little Mermaid. You can't watch Pinocchio. You can't watch a uh, Disney cartoon without our kids being like, like encouraged to, to, to consider a different gender or, or a different kind of sexuality, man. Our children under constant attack. And what are we supposed to do? Stand by idly? Nah, a man understands that. A man is supposed to understand that threat. He's supposed to understand that attack. But again, we following after blind watchmen. So what do we do? We sitting up in that Christian church. We turn a blind eye to it, man. We, we don't, we're not even aware that it's happening, man. When it's happening, man, and it's aggressive. That, that LGBTQ movement is aggressive, man. I, do I got to tell you? How many years ago did, 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 was, was this June thing a thing? Huh? That, that's been forever? That's been eternity? That, that, that there was a whole month dedicated to the rainbow and the alphabet? No, th these are new things, man. We can't let that just slip by like it's, like, like it's not happening, man. There's warfare going on, man. And we got we to gotta be, be, be ready to stand up against it. And right. we're not going to learn to stand up against it following behind watchmen who are blind and greedy and refuse to speak out against these things, man. Right. Keep reading, boy. Yay, they are greedy dogs. They are greedy dogs, man. Which can never have enough. They can't never have enough, man. T.D. Jakes can't never have enough. Creflo Dollar can't never have enough. I mean, it, it was a controversial thing when Creflo Dollar got his congregation to buy him a damn jet so he could spread his disgusting ministry. He bought, they bought him a jet. You know what he did a few years later? He got rid of that jet. You know what he told his congregation to do? Give me another jet. Give me a bigger jet. Give me, <laughs> give me a jet that goes faster and farther. Their greedy dogs can never have enough, man. T.D. Jakes, his disgusting behind. T.D. Jakes has mansions, man. T.D. Jakes has mansions. He's bought his children mansions. All off of what, man? All, all off the hopes and dreams of a very desperate people who, who come to flock to the Christian church for guidance and leadership. And this is what we get. We get hustled, man. We get hustled, we get finessed, man. We gotta wake up. Keep reading. And they are shepherds that cannot understand they are shepherds that cannot understand. They don't. Even, the Christian church does not even understand the damage that they do to the community, man. They have no idea. Like, like listen, they don't, you know how I know they don't have any clue what to do? What does the Catholic church do with all of those child abuse allegations? What's the Catholic church's response? Huh? What do they do? Oh, they, they send the or, the, or the child to another church. <laughs> they, they just send them out of town, send them down south somewhere. Send them up north, send them east or send them west. 
They don't know what to do. They don't even understand what to do about the, the, the mess that they've made. Here's what they need to do. They need to tell everybody that the ISUPK is the home of the truth. You That's understand? Right. Right. It's Commander General Yohanna, and it is the only place that blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans can come to to get any real answers or solutions to the very real problems that we suffer and live through every day, man. Keep reading. Yeah. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Falling, 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 to rise no more. Falling, 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 to rise no more. I'm taking a look in the streets. It's real every day what I see. We constantly searching for peace. My people just wanna be free. We tired of the cell blocks and the bullshit. That lying nigga in the pulpit. Same shit, but a different.